My name is Terry Cruz. We're here at, in McCrory, Arkansas at Cane Fish Farm. It's about a 500 acre farm that raises uh, catfish, food fish, as well as catfish fingerlings. Uh, we've been in operation for about 35 years here in, in McCrory, Arkansas. And uh, we ship a lot of fish to Mississippi to the processing plants, as well as ship fish to uh, many other locations, live hauling them and we ship fingerlings basically everywhere, anywhere that someone wants them. And uh, been doing it for quite some time. Really enjoy it. I think it's a, it's a good profession to be in. It's a lot of hard work, but it's also pretty rewarding when you load a load of uh, food fish headed to the plant and know you're feeding people. And uh, we actually have a live all customer that comes and picks them up and, and takes them back to export them to Canada. We have to have uh, special permits to do that, but uh, it's just another way we can sell U.S. farm-raised catfish. And I also think the uh, Made in America project, you know, I think that's uh, helping us. I think it's, uh, it's an important issue in the United States that we uh, grow our own food and, and consume our own food and, and not look, you know, look to other countries to grow it for us. Being named the uh, 2020 Catfish Farmer of the Year was a great honor. It's many people have done it, been named before, and, and I have a lot of respect for those people. And uh, I, I just can't tell you how much it means to me. I have been involved in many things now as the Catfish Farmer of the Year. And uh, just uh, Governor Asa Hutchinson just uh, proclaimed August as Catfish Month. And that, that was a, a nice trip to Little Rock to uh, to enjoy meeting some people there and talking about catfish and, and some of the problems and some of the things that are going well as well. There has been a lot of, of technology that's, that's helped the catfish farmers in terms of raising more fish per acre and, and the need for farms is not as high as it was. And you know, the logistics has, has hurt us in terms of we don't actually have a processing plant in Arkansas, most of them are Mississippi, Alabama, and Louisiana. So the, the freight has kind of got into the equation as well. I think it's a critical point to, uh, to point out that it's all grown in, and used in U.S. products and not any kind of uh, foreign entities involved in it. And I think it's an important issue. I think that's what really has, has hurt the fish business is a lot of influx of foreign fish that are not exactly catfish but are used a lot like catfish. And so we kind of went through a, a really hard time there and that's why we lost a lot of our farmers because the prices were down trying to compete with those cheaper products. But I think the people are actually, you know, really seeing the value of a, of a United States product, a U.S. product. So.